Hey everyone, it's Vanessa and welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited to bring you my first ever Passport Pages Resort Report news video where I'll be giving all the latest in resort and travel news in the Caribbean, Mexico and beyond. So no personal opinions and experiences like in my other videos, just facts so you can stay up to date on all you need to know for your travel planning. And I will be bringing you a brand new news video at the end of each month and we'll be making a resort report playlist so you can stay caught up on all the latest travel news. So without further ado, let's jump into your resort report for January 2023. So let's kick things off with some very big travel news for those of us in the U.S. Beginning May 3rd, 2023, so this May, American travelers flying within the United States will need to show TSA agents either a security enhanced driver's license that's real ID compliant or another TSA approved form of identification like a passport. A state driver's license that does not contain the real ID seal will no longer be accepted. Accepted. The easiest way to tell is to simply look at it. Real ID compliant driver's licenses have a star, usually in gold or black. The stars look slightly different on each state's licenses, but it's always located in the top right corner. So something to plan for so you're not caught off guard on your next trip. Now to a fun announcement, a huge new amusement park that's set to open in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic and will be called Katmandu Punta Cana. And it's being billed as the only theme park of its kind in the Caribbean, costing an estimated $120 million. It's currently set to debut the beginning of 2023 and Katmandu will include attractions, rides, shops, entertainment, and focus on gastronomy, along with an interactive 5D theater and what developers call a flying theater experience. So a very exciting new addition for Punta Cana and the Caribbean in general, and I'll be keeping an eye on that opening date. Beloved burger chain Shake Shack is coming to the Caribbean, specifically opening at the Atlantis Paradise Island in the Bahamas this year. The Atlantis Outpost will offer the brand's classics, Angus beef burgers, crispy chicken, hand-spun milkshakes, and house-made lemonades, as well as exclusives found only at Shake Shack Atlantis, according to the property. The 2023 opening of Shake Shack is part of a broader slate of new additions and upgrades at the resort, timed with the upcoming 25th anniversary of Atlantis's iconic Royal Towers. Many of you have complained about the quality of dining and cost of food as well at Atlantis. I hear ya, I've talked about it myself, but it's nice to see that they've taken guest complaints under advisement and are working toward expanding and improving dining options and hopefully making them more affordable as well. So if you're a Shake Shack fan, this should make you happy because calories don't count on vacation, right? Now to one of my favorite hotel brands, Belmond, which is reopening its top resort in Mexico this spring. The rebranded Belmond Amaroma Hotel is set to reopen its doors on May 23rd, 2023. The long-awaited return of the property follows, quote, an extensive transformation under the brand's new owner, LVMH. And for those of you who don't know, that stands for Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy, which has really gone heavily into hotel and resort investments in recent years. The reopening will include the addition of 10 new waterfront suites, along with a new wellness experience in partnership with Guerlain and a new culinary program led by Mexican chef Daniel Camacho. Maroma will also showcase an extraordinary collection of pan-Mexican art and design with 80% of the furnishings and objects made by locals, from hand-blown glass chandeliers and painted clay pots to traditional additional floor tiles meticulously created for each guest room. So a lot of authenticity in this property, which is rare, and this will only be the third Belmont Resort in the Caribbean, with the other two being Belmont La Semana in St. Martin and the Belmont Cap Luca in Anguilla. So if it's anything like those properties, should be an incredibly luxurious high-end experience. 
Now to one of the biggest pieces of news. Marriott International has signed an agreement to begin construction on the W All-Inclusive Punta Cana in Uvero Alto, which will be an adults-only all-inclusive property in the Dominican Republic, but more importantly, the first W Hotels property in the market and one of the first W All-Inclusive resorts in the world. So this is big news. So. W All-Inclusive Punta Cana Uvero Alto, that's a mouthful, will have 349 guest rooms, including several suites with balconies and plunge pools, adult-focused programming, a spa with 11 treatment rooms, a retail area, three pools with pool bars, and 11 dining options. The property recently broke ground and is expected to have an opening date in 2025. So I'm very excited about this news. I've talked before about how I like the W Hotel style, and many resorts have tried to copy them in recent years, so I think it's great that they're opening an all-inclusive option, and they must know it's going to be big since they chose the all-inclusive mecca of the Caribbean, Punta Cana, to try this new type of property for them. So definitely something to watch. I'll be keeping an eye on the opening date like always, and hopefully there will be more to report soon. Marriott International has announced it has signed an agreement to bring the legendary St. Regis brand to Costa Mujeres, which means the St. Regis Costa Mujeres Resort is expected to welcome its first guests in early 2025. And the resort will be ideally located on a three and a half acre site along the scenic Costa Mujeres Beach, just north of Cancun on the Yucatan Peninsula. And this area has a really tranquil atmosphere with lush natural surroundings and pristine beaches, so a great spot if you're looking for a relaxing vacation, but also pretty convenient, just a 35 minute drive from Cancun Airport. So now to the specifics. The resort will feature 158 guest rooms and 80 residential suites, each with spectacular views of the island of Isla Mujeres to the east and Cancun to the southeast. Plans for the resort also include three dining options, several swimming pools, a glamorous beach club, approximately 470 square meters of meeting space, and the signature St. Regis Butler service. So a great luxury addition to the Costa Mujeres area and one to look forward to in 2025. A new all-inclusive resort is coming to Montego Bay, Jamaica, and will be called Hideaway at Royalton Blue Waters. Located in the Trelawney area of Greater Montego Bay, this adults-only all-inclusive resort will offer 352 rooms and suites, a spa, a fitness center, eight bars, 11 dining options, and both daytime and evening activity options. And maybe most exciting of all, if you're familiar with the brand's Dorado restaurant, that is set to open for the first time in a Montego area resort. And of course, you'll also have access to everything next door at the Royalton Blue Waters main resort, but with a bit more exclusivity and enhanced services in the hideaway section. So a big opening, especially if you're fans of the Royalton brand, and look for that to happen at the end of this year. So there you have your first resort report, and I'll be bringing you all the latest in resort and travel news at the end of each month, so please tune in, and I'll do my best to keep you informed. If there are any new things you'd like to see on my channel, or maybe things you'd like to see more of, please share your thoughts in the comments as I look forward to a new year in travel with all of you. This is Vanessa with your resort report. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye, guys.